in terms of their size down low. And, and um, you know, it, it's, it's funny watching him uh, on tape. He's, he's, he can go both ways. Um, he also steps out a little bit, shoots it. Um, but he, he does. A, he's just got a, a great feel, I and mean, he will go get the basketball on, on the offensive rebounds. And, and um, you know, he's got good athleticism. Uh, runs the floor in, in transition. So, you know, in, in order to stop him, you know, we've got to do the best we can to, to take his sweet spot away in terms of, of post ups. But knowing that they do move him around quite a bit, and you know, it's going to be a, definitely a game where we've got to have tremendous help down low. And with with the post defense, with the big guys in particular, I know it's a team thing. But how are Trevor and and Giddens doing with that? Are they tough enough? Are they smart enough? Are they doing the right things in there? Um, yeah, they have done a good job with that this season at times. Uh, I, I think that we need a little bit more of a of a consistent basis. You know, I don't think we did a very good job post defense wise last Sunday, um, just in terms of, of what we were trying to take away. But uh, they've shown that they can do it. They, they've shown, you know, at times I think both guys can be two of the top ball screen defenders at, at that position in the country. And uh, we, we definitely have to have that just in terms of their ability to move and, and keep a guard in front and, until the guy can recover back in. And, and with, with those two guys, but then also looking at some of the guys you have lined up to come in here with Micah and Funderburk and some other guys in the pipeline, you, you have some big bodies, both on the roster and on the way. Is there anything philosophically with what you want inside or what kind of size you want on this roster or what kind of presence you want that has led to any of this? Or did it just sort of happen this way? Or yeah, did anything change it, with you? No, I think it just sort of happened. Um, and how things have, have sort of played out. You know, we, we've got some big wings, um, which was, we were very excited when we got those guys, just their size and length. Um, you know, to have a guy like Jay Kwan with his size as a point guard is, is something's good. But I, I think in terms of, uh, you know, the, the big guys, you know, we, we'd like to have that ability where we could play two bigs on the floor. We, we've done that before and, and, and had a lot of success. Um, you know, I think with both Derek and, and Micah coming in, um, they're completely different than each other in terms of, of how they play. Okay. And then just with, with Daniel and Trevor, on their arc of what they are and what they can be, like what, what could you have there with two guys like that? I mean, where, and where are you in that process, do you think? Well, I, I think that, you know, you look, and, and both guys this season have, have has played – uh, some big time basketball, and, and I think you know um, Daniel has been prone to get in early foul trouble. He, he, he's fouling a little bit too much, and he learned to to sort of curb that. And, and um, you know, I, I think the best games that we've played this season, we've had a very good presence of inside and outside, and, and that's something that. I know from a coach's standpoint, that's what we ultimately want. We can throw it down there, uh, we can get a bucket, we can throw it back out, we can play inside out. And you mentioned how you